We'll see those come up here in a bit. But before we go to that, we have to send off our number five alliance here. Semi-finalists in effect here at Northwest District Champs. That's captain by 955 CV Robotics. Joined by their first pick, 3636, the Generals. And their second pick, 2412, the Robo Totes. Brett, that was an incredible match to watch. We saw the Red Alliance come out ahead with the stronger Autonomous there and then just a barrage of game pieces from Blue that wound up making the difference for them. Yeah, the Blue Alliance, that number one seed, they haven't been able to hit that Autonomous entirely right since one of their first or, first or second playoff match. But to tell the story of this one, I want to go back to our ZebraWorks data. Once again, we're thank, uh, thank you to the ZebraWorks, and we're showing this via the Blue Alliance. This again, our heat map, this is showing where the team spent most of their time. And the thing I want to call out here, we're going to come back to that theme of coordination and having a plan. You see the Blue Alliance, heavy heat in the entire community. They were using that entire space. Red Alliance, much more focused down here a little bit up here. They were in the center of the community as well, but these brighter colors showing more time that were robots were spending in those places. And I think this particular diagram tells a story of a Blue Alliance that coordinated and communicated to use the entire space available to them and enabled them to maybe score just those few more game pieces that are sending them back to the finals. Yeah, I think we've seen with their driving, you know, they're very opportunistic with how they like to run out there and just any space they can find. We talked about it last time with Jack and the Bot. They'll jump over the charge platform, and it's really awesome to watch. But speaking of opportunistic, I think we have an opportunity to pass out some more hardware. Natalie, take it away down on the field.